All right, guys, welcome back. <clears throat> it's the morning of the auction here. Uh, my wife is coming with. We're going to go see if uh, we can bring some stuff home, maybe a couple bikes. We'll see. See how things go. It's an auction. You never know. I got a title for this bike. All right? She's just, just how she got pulled out of the barn. She's just, just been sitting there with me to give her some love. Nice, quiet, runs like the carburetors are still tight. How much for it? We'll get one on that command. I'll give me a five grand shot on it. Yep. Five would hit five. Yep. Yep. Five. I got six of it now, 707. Six. 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 All right, ladies and gents, I'll give you a little recap of uh, how the auction went. Everything went high. Well, higher than I expected. Some stuff didn't go insane, but bike-wise, I was unable to buy any of the bikes. Um, I get down on the on the YZ. I really made an effort, and it was just down to me and uh, one of the staff guys actually for the auction company. It was uh, Jay Wood was the auction company, and I think it's the dude's son. I don't know. He's into dirt bikes, but he uh, he wanted that thing more than I did. I think I went up to twenty five hundred on it. Um, it had a couple small issues. It wasn't perfect, perfect, and to get good money like that it needs to be perfect perfect so that's is the most I felt comfortable spending on it um, the uh, the 66 TT went for 16 grand um, I was gonna try to buy that bike I wasn't willing to spend that kind of money on it um, it did run and it was in good original condition but to me that was like 10 grand was like top top on that one for me because you know I gotta make money on the things the guy who bought it was actually an old flat track racer champion um, that used to ride for triumph so he really wanted that thing and he was gonna spend whatever it took and that day it took 16 grand surprisingly there was a low mile uh, aerial square four and it only brought 14 grand. It didn't run, but still, aerials bring big money. Um, but I wasn't a player on that one. It was just too much money, and aerials are a nightmare when it comes to uh, getting running. Um, so I, I wasn't willing to dive into that project. Um, that black Norton 850 that I was saying, hey, we'll see what you know. This one will tell us a lot. That thing went for almost four grand. Four grand. There was no guts in the engine, um, so and, and it, it needed a restoration. The whole, it needed a full restoration, and it brought almost four grand. I I could not believe that. So yeah, that's kind of how the the bikes went. And then parts wise, um, the lots, especially like the Norton new old stock lots, were selling between three and four thousand. For a set of shelves, three and four grand each. Keep in mind there were 600 lots, 
um, 500 of that being parts. So I did some mental math when I was there and I would say that if there wasn't a million bucks spent, um, it was darn close that day because stuff was going for a lot. But I did, I was able to buy four different lots. The first one, uh, Norton seat, a uh, uh, high rider seat. We're going to be selling that on eBay. Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought a, a memorabilia lot, which is really cool. I'll show you that stuff. Um, I bought a firebox thing for uh, for the shop just to keep chemicals in. And when I move into a commercial location, I'm gonna have to have that kind of stuff. So I figure I might as well start buying it now. Um, and then I bought a magazine collection. Um, I didn't intend to going, but uh, it wasn't very expensive. And I feel like I could just throw them on eBay in, in sections. Also, one of the first ones I picked up happened to have a BMW like my R50 on the cover um, and a CB1100F, which as you guys know is kind of like one of my niche bikes that I, I don't know, it just felt meant to be, so I fired down on that. But uh, let's check out the, the stuff I'll show you. So like I said, the first thing I bought was this Norton High Rider seat. It's brand new ski. Hasn't been on a bike, um, so if you need one of those, let me know. I tried to buy another Norton seat, but it went for a little too much. Um, this is the firebox. Pretty stoked on this thing. It, uh, it's got a little shelf in there, but it's sagging over in that corner, so we're going to have to have to fix that. But um, yeah, not, not too bad of a deal on this guy. And then uh, in the memorabilia section, this green sign, this green Lucas sign, this was not in my lot, but when I was picking everything up, the guy who bought it was there, and uh, I bought it off of him for 20 bucks. So I was stoked on that. Um, this BSA sign, I believe, is a homemade job. That was in the, uh, the memorabilia lot. And this is some of the magazines, some take you inside and we'll look at the others and this is all the other magazines and there's a lot of them um, I'm gonna guess there's about 800 by rough count but some of them are pretty old like this is 1982 83 classic classic bike so a lot of good stuff there motorcyclist these beer cans we're in the lot as well. A little rock and roll beer, spark plug top advertiser, a little old army helmet, and uh, Harley Davidson beer, and also this little kid's toolbox, which is pretty cool. A little BSA thing. And more and more magazines. Pretty cool. So obviously, you know, I'd love to buy more stuff, but I bought what I could um, within the budget, and we had a, a ton of fun. Got to see a bunch of friends. I made a bunch of new friends, which is which is always great. And um, you know, Ravers is a really really special shop uh, to me at least, um, and I like Bob Raver a lot. So I couldn't be happier that uh, his stuff went for a ton of money because you know he deserves it the guys put his whole life into motorcycles that shop's been there 40 years he's still gonna do um, a select amount of service work I guess so that'll be nice I can still go down there and see him and bug him and pick his brain and whatnot but uh, yeah that was the the Ravers auction I was looking forward to that for the last couple months um, it was kind of a bittersweet thing but hey you know that's life um, as always, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe while you're here. Um, we got a ton more stuff coming your way, so we'll see you on the next one.